Well, the recent reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act will also reach out to Native American women. Non-Native offenders of sexual violence easily avoided tribal jurisdiction and prosecution. That's because tribes had to rely on federal government to prosecute crimes by non-Natives on their territory. Hannah Tran has more on how the idea of sovereignty plays into this action. Sexual violence has been a long-term epidemic in the land of the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe. And so it really kind of became open season on on uh, Indian women in Indian country. The U.S. Department of Justice found that 50% of Native American women are sexually assaulted. One in three Native American women are raped at some point in their life. And 80% of those sexual assaults are uh, done by non-Indian men. In this 61,000 acres of tribal reservation, offenders with the status of non-Indian cannot be prosecuted in tribal court, even though they share the same land. A lot of people who aren't familiar with Indian country don't realize how, uh, you know, that reservations can uh, encompass many, many, many counties. And basically, uh, the population of a reservation is very mixed as it is. It's an issue of sovereignty, prosecuting and pursuing only those of a native heritage instead of all those sharing that area. It, in this VAWA reauthorization, it's really a restoration of an inherent attribute of sovereignty to exercise that jurisdiction. To reauthorization of the act will restore criminal jurisdiction over non-Indians in tribal court, specifically in cases of domestic abuse. It was by virtue of being in that that land base and, you know, essentially consenting to that jurisdiction of that sovereign. Reauthorization revamps and restores a jurisdiction to a sovereign nation shared by cultures across all colors. Hannah Tran, Lakeland News. And that also means that non-Indian offenders are entitled to federal protections under the Bill of Rights. They will have the right to an attorney, jury, and due process of law. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.